Worth it to be in the country air. Oh, what a beautiful child. Oh, she is precious. Hello. Come inside, come, come. Your beloved doctor at your service. And what does my doctor prescribe? Plenty of bed rest, my darling. Or on upstairs. This room is so haunting. Surely we can take the chambers downstairs. It's the only bed that'll fit us both. You should want to stay with me, yes? This room will do nicely for your prescription. Summer of nothing but bed rest will do you nicely, my dear. It's quite a simple thing, a quick cure to your temporary nerves. A few weeks of no work and a couple of tonics. My dear Elizabeth, have you back on your feet? Well, I must take this call. Many people sick this time of year. I'll be back later this evening, and remember, absolutely no work. I, I just... Doctor's order. John does not believe I'm sick. What can one do when a physician of high standing and one's own husband assures friends and relatives there is really nothing the matter but temporary nervous depression? I'm absolutely forbidden to work until I'm well again. Personally, I disagree with their ideas. We must stay in this godforsaken room, sticky, sulfur-tinted wallpaper, a smoldering, unclean yellow. It itches beneath my skin. There comes John, and I must put this away. He hates to have me write a word. Elizabeth? Brought you some tea. Got some nice light in there today. What's in this? How are you feeling? Any better? doing with the wallpaper? You frightened me! You must stay away from the wallpaper! It's ruined your dress!
She was there. She was there. You mustn't give way to these fantasies. She needs to go away. Elizabeth, what are you doing? Get back to bed. Shh. There is a woman. She's in the walls. She's trapped. I have to help her, John. I. She, she's she's in the wallpaper. The wallpaper, John. The wallpaper. The wallpaper. No, please, please, I can't stay here. I can't stay here. Please, please, the wallpaper. She's. our last day here, but it's, it's enough. Last night, as soon as moonlight struck my chambers and the poor thing began to crawl and shake the pattern, I got up and I ran to help her, grooving my fingertips into every nook and cranny we pulled and shook, and we peeled off yards of that wretched paper. go out. And I don't want anyone to come in. Not until John comes. I need to astonish him. And I've got a rope here, and if that woman does try to get out, I can tie her. Tie the knot, like all of us. Like all of us. Stuck. Stuck and trying to claw our way out. What? <laughs> 
are you doing?